Time for tonight's show. that wonderful performance is the next morning and the American Queen is here in Vicksburg Mississippi Vicksburg was originally part of the Natchez Indian Territory right now we are off the Mississippi and on the Yazoo River which goes in front of the downtown Vicksburg area later today we'll go back to the Mississippi Thank you, Ed. Now, Edgerton's Travelers will come up here and do the hop on, hop off tour throughout Vicksburg. Now, this flood wall was built after the flood of 1927, and a Louisiana artist came up to depict the history of Vicksburg. This painting is of the Bell of the Bends bringing down President Teddy Roosevelt in 1906 to Vicksburg. Here he was hunting in this area. The Union Army laid siege to Vicksburg for 47 days during the Civil War. The surrender of Vicksburg by the Confederates on July 4, 1863, followed by the defeat at Gettysburg a day before, was pivotal in the Union winning the Civil War. The people of Vicksburg were so angry about surrendering to the Yankees on July 4th that Vicksburg did not celebrate the national holiday of the 4th of July again until 1945. Here you see how long this outstanding mural is here in Vicksburg. Mississippi known for having some of the most beautiful women in the world. A lady I went to school with at the University of Mississippi Ole Miss, Susan Aiken, in the early 80s was a Miss America not long after that. One of my motivational programs I deliver to companies is called the Spirit of Customer Service, and it stems from the 1970s when I sacked groceries as a Jitney Jungle in Mississippi, and our boss, Mr. Paul James, told us not just to sack the groceries, but we would wheel the cart out to the car, open the trunk, put in the groceries, and if it was a lady customer, we would open the door for her. Travelers getting ready to go up into the city. Up the hill from the American Queen, we see this local Vicksburg business, and this applies to tour manager Jackie Lightfoot. Just say, charge it. The Church of the Holy Trinity, this Episcopal church over 125 years old. The old courthouse built in 1858, today is Vicksburg's most historic structure. Guests and speakers such as Jefferson Davis, Ulysses Grant, Booker T. Washington, Teddy Roosevelt, and William McKinley have been here. It was here that Union soldiers lowered the Confederate flag July 4th, 1863. The old courthouse is now a museum and is very interesting. Upstairs, the old courthouse, during the early days of the siege of 1863, this courthouse suffered a direct hit from a mortar shell from the Union, killing four members of the 5th Mississippi Infantry. When there wasn't war going on and court was in session, the judge would preside from this iron dais. Jefferson Davis, who was president of the Confederacy, grew up about 17 miles south of Vicksburg, and this replica of the plantation he owned. Down the way, the Duff Green Mansion, which escaped destruction during and after the Civil War siege by serving as a hospital for Confederate and Union soldiers. Beneath its high ceilings, the polished floors carry bloody stains as a reminder of the carnage of war. 
inside here at the base of the steps. This has been forensically proved to be blood from the soldiers that were here. Inside one of the rooms over here is where a cannonball came through and landed. You see where they replaced the wood many years ago. Down the way, the Anchuca Mansion. Anchuca, a Choctaw word meaning happy home. Built in 1830, this was the first columned mansion in the city of Vicksburg. Here's a little museum and soda shop right near the river. In the summer of 1894, a young candy merchant named Joseph Biedenharm of Vicksburg had an idea that was to shape the American soft drink industry. He took a popular fountain beverage known as Coca-Cola, put it in bottles, and shipped it to rural areas outside the Vicksburg city limits. It was the first time Coca-Cola had been sold in bottles. Here in downtown Vicksburg, check this out. Pontiac GTO, what do you think? What year, 65, 67, 68? Here through Vicksburg. Hi there. While Edgerton's group traveler is getting back on the American Queen, there's another northern Indiana travel company called Save a Buck Group Travel, and their travelers are on that. We have left Vicksburg and are heading up the Mississippi River towards Helena, Arkansas.